The mother? Yeah. yeah. She's a mother in the present? Correct. Okay. Yeah. No, she's the mother in the past. She's playing a teenager. Well, she could be the grandmother. She could be the mother's mother. Uh, that You know what? It's true. But then she'd be the grandmother and not the mother. It's possible. Well, she's the mother in the past. She's the mother of the mother. What if she's oh, the I mother see. in the present and the grandmother in the past? Oh, sort of like... Uh... Uh, watch her face in Back like to the Future. Back to the Future situation, yeah. Dom, I still want you to watch that Alien movie I watched. That I took. Ah, uh, yes, yes, I did. I did pull I'm it up. Curious and to see I forgot about it. Curious to see if you'd like I it. Or definitely can't do this anymore. Do what? I had the yeah, chat open. I saw the stream oh, open. Okay. No, you oh. definitely shouldn't do that. Listen, if you were in this live a few minutes ago, you would have only heard me talking about Samba Dimigo for a few minutes, but. That episode is, is is long gone now. We had some technical difficulties. So we are back with uh, hopefully no technical difficulties. And we're going to roll right into tonight's episode. Welcome, everyone, to the Past Control Podcast, a show where a couple of best friends talk about the latest in video games and nerd culture. Sometimes we talk, sometimes we have guests, sometimes I can't even talk now. Sometimes we have technical dif- difficulties. Either way, we have a new episode Don't even for you bother each. introducing us. <laughs> Every week, as always, yeah. I'm your host and joining me on this lovely evening is the anime senpai himself, Mr. Michael Desir. Mike, how are you? The same as I was before. Perfect. Mike, you what? Uh, you get going to the get wet swap, Mike? I believe the answer last time was no. Okay. okay. I just wanted to ask if you were wet without any context. I was going <laughs> to <laughs> Um, Damn, Jesse just 100 percented Mario Wonder, I think. Wow. Also Liam, joining Liam's us. going to probably beat us. Of course. I mean, I'm more than halfway through. We'll get there. We're not there yet. We'll get there. Uh, also joining us, of course, is the fucking cyberbunk guy, Todd Gary. I said cyberbunk. cyberbunk? I'm just I'm just <laughs> phoning this intro in. We've done it twice now. So how are you doing, All right. Todd? All right. I'm good. I'm good. Todd's also wet. Uh, and rounding us out, of course, is the Disney daddy himself, Mr. Dominic Forty Dom. How are you doing? You know, let me tell you. I'm doing pretty well. <laughs> I fucking love to hear it. You really fucking love to hear it. Uh, before we roll into tonight's episode, a couple of quick housekeeping things. This episode, of course, sponsored by our good friends at Goodnight Fatty. If you're in the Salem, Massachusetts area, or the North Shore of Massachusetts on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday evening, you want yourself something hot, something sweet, something tasty, something fresh out of the oven, you can head on down to One Washington Square and get yourself a delicious fatty. Or if you're like me and you want to leave your fucking house for anything, you can just hop on over to goodnightfatty.com, order yourself a drop, and I promise you will not be disappointed when those tasty, delicious treats appear fresh out of the oven onto your doorstep uh so check them out on social media at good night fatty at good morning chubby and if you head down let them know pass the controller sent you uh other quick quick housekeeping things uh mario wonders out and i decided to do another cocktail and it was for mario wonder so that's up over on our website at passcontroller.io and on our youtube channel so check that out Take a look, make the drink if you feel so inclined, and uh, you know if you do make the drink, let us know. You know what I mean? Show or show it on social media, tag us, let us know, let me see. I've had other people make the drinks before, and I don't know. It's kind of cool when someone's like, "I'm gonna make the fucking drink," and let you know I made the drink, and then drink that drink. And you know what? It's a good drink every time. You're gonna have people start biased. making the drink incorrectly. It's like that's fine. Like, I think I make whatever. Is that what you're drinking right now? Are you drinking the drink right now? No, I'm not drinking a, a Wonder Drink, which Mike named. I did. Well, I think you called it Wonder Drink, and then I just called it Wonder Drink. Uh, oh, yeah. I wasn't gonna name it initially. I was just gonna call it Super Mario <laughs> Brothers Wonder C- Cocktail, but then you said Wonder Drink. Like, yeah, whatever. Wonder Drink works. Uh, no, I'm drinking a. I made a gin mule. Ooh. It's delicious. And it's my second one. Yeah. So this is going to be a fucking disaster of a fucking podcast. What'd you say? You just poured mixed up into a glass? Is that what you did? No, I made a cocktail. Top, top uh, yeah. I know what I'm doing. Anyways, we got a great show for you this evening. Of course, uh, the PTC Movie Club for October is Dom's pick, and we're watching Witch? The Witch? Witch? The Witches? The Witch. The Witch. The Witch. Not The Witches. The Witch. Yeah, it's a it's different someone, film. Mike, Mike comes back. He's like, they turned into mice. I don't know what was going on. <laughs> uh, the Anya Taylor-Joy film. Uh, so if Anya Taylor-Joy or Sid from Final Fantasy 16 is not in it, you are watching the wrong movie. So 
Uh, make sure to watch that. Uh, we will talk about it sometime next week. Uh, I apologize again in advance. I'll just do this now just in case. Uh, no, actually, it shouldn't. Uh, who the fuck knows? Next week's Halloween. So I don't know. We got to figure out the correct time to record uh, next week. I know technically Halloween is on Tuesday, but that's not what how it operates here. So we got to figure out what, what is the best solution. Um, so, yeah, if you want to hear us talk about that film, we'll talk about it next week episode i won't say next week i'll just say next episode next episode will be about that anyways before we roll into uh what everyone else has been playing i think we should just kick it off with uh we were we were sent a dom and i were sent a code uh from disney games for gargoyles remastered which is out now on i believe all major platforms i think it's on xbox playstation switch and you know pc um i think it's on pc yeah, I think it should be. Um, I definitely have some thoughts about this. I will say, did you ever play this game originally on the Sega Genesis, Tom? I never. I if I did, I don't remember I, that I have. I'm sure I did. Okay. Um, Wait, Sega Genesis was big in like ninety three, ninety five. I feel like that was done by then. Am I crazy? The Genesis. Yeah. Was it like? Uh, maybe I'm thinking. Of, I don't know. I mean, I, feel, I, I thought like. I thought it aligned with like Nintendo. Maybe I'm wrong, but like like a year I mean, or two. The sixty four like, didn't come out until like ninety seven or ninety eight. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I think the sixty four was like ninety six. Uh, it must have been like the end of the like Genesis life, probably. Sega Genesis yeah. came out. That doesn't make any sense. What is this? Where, where? It is on Steam, so release date. Uh, Sega Genesis came out and. 88 in Japan, but that was probably the Mega Drive. So I don't know. It looks like it looks like 88, 89 to 97, 98 is the lifespan. It gets kind of confusing, at least according to this Wikipedia page. So there you go. Gargoyles came out in 95. 95. So there you go. So like a year after the TV show, two years after the TV show uh, initially aired. So I mean, I I don't even Gargoyles is like a weird thing. Oh, you're muted though. Um. Right. No one else can hear Dom. I, I cannot hear him currently. Um, Gargoyles is like a weird thing. I don't know how much of the TV yep. show I watch. Yeah, I can hear you now. Uh, I don't know how much of the TV show I watched growing up, but I do vividly remember I had the VHS movie that also was a board game. I don't know if you, anyone, if you, are, if you also had that, Dom. It. I don't I even that. think. I couldn't even tell you what the fucking game was. All I know is you watched the movie. Which I don't even know if it was a movie. Maybe it was just episodes of the show, but it it was on a VHS. You watch the movie or show, and you play some board game along with the movie. I don't know. All I know is I tried to play it all the time. I don't know if I played it successfully. I don't know if it was good. I don't know if I even liked it. I just know I played it more than I probably should have. Is it based off of like the nineties? Like obviously, it's a Disney game. Is it based off of like uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame gargoyles, or is it just like its own thing? No, it's Gargoyles, the TV show. It was a okay, cartoon so in the nineties. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's like I, and which like I, I did some reading leading up to this episode, knowing that we were going to talk about the uh, you know Gargoyles remastered, and like I didn't realize that Gargoyles, the TV show, is like kind of a cult hit. Like people have very fond people love that show. Uh, like yep. memories of that show. I, I mean, I know Keith, Keith David. Uh, Keith David is yeah. Goliath. I don't. I didn't look at the rest of the voice cast, but I just I saw that he was the voice of, uh, I forget what the main character's name is. Goliath. 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 Um. So, you know, there's that, and then I also I maybe I knew this when it got announced, and then the information left my brain. But there's also apparently a live action gargoyles something or other getting made for Disney Plus. So the, the gargoyle sickos are gargoyles. yeah gargoyle sickos are is Keith David coming back for it? I cannot imagine that he is. I mean, I, I shouldn't say that because uh, we we hear live action, but that means very little. Yeah, I wonder if because like the premise of the, the TV li- show, the Lion King movie was supposed was to be li- live, live action. action. Yeah, the premise of the Fair. TV show was that did he have a human form too or no? No. Hmm. So yeah, I mean, I guess if 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 it's gonna be like a CGI Goliath, he could still voice it. Yeah, 
I don't know. I if imagine it's going to be people in prosthetics, but yes, it could be. Or yeah, even if, but yeah. but yeah, but it could be a Vader situation. You know what I mean? Like it, it could be a person in a costume. Well, we and can then... see their, we can see their mouth move, and I think it'd be weird to watch something like that dubbed over. I think it's going to be very obvious that it's going to be somebody else speaking. I don't know, Mike. I, I don't know. I don't know. Who's to okay. say? We have, we don't know anything about the show, right? We, there's nothing announced about it. I thought um, it was a movie. I just know it's a Disney Plus thing. I, I don't know yeah, what what it else. Says, uh, House James of Loves is resurrecting its '90s animated series Gargoyles with live action remakes for Disney Plus. It has a New director. Series, it's a TV. It's a TV. It's a television. It is a but but it has a director too tied to it. Um, the 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 one of the co creators of Saw. I think I looked him up. Uh, James Juan. Jan- yes, that is that is who it is. So the Fast and the Furious man himself. So. You know, those guys stone, only made one good movie. The stones are going to be breaking and and rematerializing real fast, Mike. Anyways, I don't we're, follow. We're, I, I don't either. We're we're here to talk about. I think that's what they did. They turned into stone, and then they like also were able to yeah un, they, un, they're, unstone they're themselves and turn into fucking gargoyles. Yeah. <laughs> can't trust this enough i feel like we're... so why do you not how did you not follow that they're gonna turn to stone and they, material i don't think they break you know i think it sounds like they crumbled that's now you're just fucking playing mr fucking wordsmith <laughs> over here you're trying to dissect the fucking verbiage anyways uh gargos remastered dumb where, where, where are you at with this i haven't finished yet but i've played i've played most of it so far i mean it's a genesis game so yeah it, if if you're like cruising, it only takes a couple hours, but yeah. Um, so I admit that the first few times that I played it, I was playing on original. Um, th- so I guess I should start with this game gives you difficulties, mm-hmm. which I can't remember if the Aladdin and um, Lion King remakes gave you. I didn't play the remakes of those difficulties. Anyways, this one gives you difficulties, and one of the difficulties is original. So I played it on original, thinking I'd rather play the way it came out. Um, So I played that. I got, I don't know, three quarters of the game, um, and I died. Um, Then today I was just messing around, and I was like, all right, let me see if I can, like, rank down the difficulty and, like, kind of cruise through it a little bit more to get, like, all the way through the game. So I played remastered normal and i didn't realize that they completely redid this game so like the remastered difficulties make it look like you're playing the cartoon oh that's where the original one essentially is just like genesis graphics like you're you're playing pixelated the the other is like it makes it look like you're playing the cartoon um so they I mean, they put a ton of work into this, obviously, um, where that was not an option in uh, Lion King, Aladdin. I didn't play the Jungle Book yet, but um, I will say the first time I played it, I played on my backbone Mm -hmm. and it felt like there was input lag. And I don't know if that was my backbone or if that was the game itself. I think I was also playing on original, so I don't know if I... I don't know if you experienced any of that. I pl- I did play a little bit of my backbone, and I did not have any issues okay. like that. Um, other than just like normal, sometimes you get a hiccup in playing, you know, playing yeah. whatever cloud or whatever the fuck it is, remote play. Um, my my thing with this is so I was curious to see how I would feel about this. Like again, like you had mentioned, obviously it's old game, so old game you have to go in like knowing old game, and I think if you go in without that like like you have to be able to look at it for what it is you know what i mean like you shouldn't go into this expecting modern day platformer because that's not what this is and it's not a remake it is just a remaster yes i would say that this game is built for people that played it on the genesis Mm -hmm. and fans of gargoyles that are like looking for gargoyles anything at this point yeah and honestly i as as crappy as that is to say, I agree with you. I think this, unfortunately, 
is something that exists specifically for people who either have played that game when they were younger and want to revisit it or you know just are fans of gargoyles because i don't want it to and i don't want it to sound like i'm saying that in a negative light yeah because because obviously it's built for a very specific like yeah it, it's marketed towards the, those people mm. but they i mean it's clear that they put a ton of effort into the remaster of like i mean the graphics look completely different yeah it is it is a completely different looking game. Yeah. And the music is also different in the remastered yeah. version. So, yeah. And you can switch back and forth on the fly, which is nice. Um, I, I like when these types of things let you do that. And then I think the other like big addition to it that, honestly, if it wasn't there, don't know if I'd get through this whole game, is being able That's to rewind. To save. And save. Oh. save saving yeah. and rewinding. It's just like old games were different. And I don't have the luxury of infinite Brennan, Brennan doesn't have the, the skill or the skill to or get the skill. through these games but mm. I, I I will say that like aside from that so one of the things I was interested personally about with this would be okay I, I played Lion King when I was younger played a lot of the game played Aladdin you know blah, blah blah so I have nostalgia for those games and I don't again I don't remember if I played this game so I don't have even if I did I don't have that living nostalgia in my head for this specific game so I'm curious how much that impedes me with this game. It whether it's like hurting me able to like you know, because because I will say and and I haven't replayed Lion King or Aladdin in a while, so I'd have to replay those to like really definitively say that. But I think those were a little more straightforward in their platforming. Where there's a lot of stuff in the level here where I feel like the Bargos. game does not tell you that certain things yeah. and i'm just like like but i that's i mean that's genesis that, yeah that, exactly also, that was how all those games last, yeah it's now we have like ladders that are yellow and yeah i know i know and it's like it's a weird not not and necessarily to be, nitpicky and thing to be fair if you pay attention there are like cracks on the walls and shit that show you that you can break through them yes you just have to figure yes. out how to do it so and that's the thing so i recorded the first 30 minutes of me playing the game it's on youtube how long did you get stuck at going down through the the floor too long and that was the <laughs> reason i even brought this up is there's a crack on the floor the game doesn't explain to you how to break it but it's very clear this is where you have to go this is what you have to do brendan and, needed a brendan need a roll to pop up uh yeah i need <laughs> <a roll. laughs> i just need anything and in in the i i think the way around that because again so, so first of all on that video i had to look up someone else fucking playing the game like from the Genesis to see what so they did. I mean, it, it, but I think that speaks sort of to like how yeah. it just skill it, issue. yeah skill issue too. No, it's it's really just a matter of mashing the buttons until you figure out. I don't know even know you like. It's just I, the evolution of games. This game yeah. is this game is twenty five years old. No, so so here's the thing, and I like again, I don't think that is a knock on the game because again, from the from the onset. If you're going into this, you're going into it knowing you're playing old game. The fact that they redid the visuals, redid the music for that other, you know, the remastered version of the game that you can play, I almost wonder maybe for that version of the game when you switch back and forth, I don't know, maybe just like very slight signposting or so, I, I don't know. I feel like there, there maybe is a way without breaking what the experience is um but it's it's not like a again the people that are buying this game are buying it because they probably have played it to be honest or like it I gargoyles mean, i i will admit that i knew to go straight through the wall and i knew that i had to get through the floor but i kept trying to use the side one to get me through too. the floor i forgot I, that there was a down i kept trying to do that too so but it it didn't take me 10 minutes i mean it didn't take me 10 minutes and <laughs> may, maybe like five it felt like I'm, 10 minutes because I was recording myself. I'm going to look at myself. this hour-long video no, and see minutes. how much of this out. <laughs> 30, it's 30 minutes because another 30 minutes was also just exactly. him trying to figure exactly. out how to get through. Exactly. No, he had to stop it and he had to cut it so that he wouldn't show up how many times he had to go. Listen, in the back of my head, there was a point where I was like, do I just like redo this 30-minute video? Because this is, this is, I felt, I was like, I'm hard stop right now. I cannot figure out what's going on. But I, I mean, listen. Maybe someone else gets stuck there and they find that video, and then it helps them get through it. Maybe who the fuck knows? I will say that Lion King and Aladdin are they're much more. They're much more 
side like side platformers like you're just running side to side or yes. you're running up and down gargoyles has a lot of like all right goliath has to climb this fucking pillar and then you have to jump across yeah. to this other thing and like i mean you're a gargoyle yeah i mean you're it, climbing it, walls and shit i still i still don't know as someone who grew up playing genesis games and super nintendo games you know, I've played the good ones. I've played the bad ones. I've played the in-between ones. I don't really know where I would put that. I don't really think it's necessarily the purpose of us talking about the game is to say, is this a good Sega Genesis game? I don't think that's beneficial. Like, I, I think on the onset, if you like, if it was like truly bad, I, I would say it's truly bad. That's I don't think not, it's truly yeah. bad. I just think that you need to go in with that mindset of you're playing a Genesis game. I do kind of wish... And I and you know the price is subjective. I think the price mirrors that, but I I do kind of wish you know with something like Gargoyles that you know has this cult fandom, um, you know it would have been nice to maybe have a little bit more in there, like a little bit more celebration of Gargoyles or anything. You know what I mean? Just it's it's aside from them clearly taking the time to remaster the visuals, make all these new animations, redo the music. Outside of that stuff, there, from what I could see, was like not much else. Well, obviously, the the rewind and saving feature. Outside of those things, which I think at this point most like old game remasters or collection ports have those things. Uh, you know, it just would have been nice to have maybe like didn't have to be this giant like very aggressive you know Atari Fifty collection or something like that where it's like mm-hmm. here's all the music and voice acting and history like but. I feel like there could have maybe been a little bit more thrown in there, especially with seemingly Disney, you know, they're, they're doing a new series for Disney plus. It would seem like a good way to be like, let's kind of celebrate the series, maybe a little, little, you know, museum area in the menus to, to look at older things to do with gargoyles or something. I don't know. It doesn't need to be, it doesn't make or break the experience. I just was like, Oh, this is like, this is very much here is this game. You can play, the way it was you can play it with his updated visuals and that's what we got and again that's not good or bad if it was more expensive i think it would be not great but i think it's 15 dollars, which again money is subjective i think for that price point i feel like that's pretty fine for for yeah. what the what I'll, this i will is. try anything at that price point if i'm interested in it. Like, <laughs> yeah that's like, like the sweet spot for me like, yeah like if it was thir- 15, if it was 30 bucks at this yeah, without right. like a little bit more in there i think that's a little more like scratching my head a little bit but um i think you know i think end of the day at the bare minimum like w- we live in a unfortunately really shitty video game preservation timeline so like the fact that this is even something that's available to play without just like downloading a ROM of this on your computer uh, of the Sega Genesis game is something. Um, yeah. So that's uh, if you were to if you were to say, hey, wh- what do you think the, like the next like classic Disney game they're gonna port forward is gonna be? I wouldn't have said Gargoyles. So you know, I but hope you also didn't know the premise of the Gargoyles TV show, so. Uh yeah, I mean I watched it when I was a fucking ninety five. I would have been five six years old. Don't forget that Jungle Book got ported before Gargoyles. Yeah, but I would argue Jungle Book is a much like bigger Disney thing than Gargoyles. Would you argue that the Jungle Book Genesis game was a bigger game than the Gargoyles? Game? Uh, I don't think I ever played it, so I don't know. Yeah, the, there's your answer. The movie but, came out in the thirties or forties. Yeah, but it's fucking Jungle Book. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. When uh, did Lion King initially come out? I have no idea. The game or the no, movie? No, the movie was yeah. the movie. I have no idea. The movie was ninety four. Yeah. Is Aladdin also a nineties movie? Ninety three. Ninety Jungle Book. Ninety one or ninety two? I think. Did you say the thirties? Yeah. Yeah. That's. I did, I didn't know that. That's. I mean, maybe I knew that information at some point. That's kind of wild. Uh, Jungle Book. I, I believe you. Oh. I just that's kind of wild. I, nope, it came out in '67. That makes still a older more than I would have initially thought Jungle Book was. I mean, it's still a, it would have been a 30 year old movie by the time the game came out. Yeah, but it's Disney. It's I mean it's Disney. We we don't have to get into it now, but 
there was a period in the 80s where Disney was not doing too hot. But this is in the though. 80s. This is in the 80s, but I'm saying like... It was the early 90s. How's Disney doing in the early 90s? It was... Fantastic. Fantastic. Was so there you go. It's fucking Disney. Disney. <laughs> uh, early 90s Disney. Fucking there you go. We're, we're, they're yeah, in, and we got... And we got Garbos. one of their, yeah, we got one of their classic TV shows made into go. a video. Game. There you go. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not hating on. It. I'm saying for the like, there are a bunch of old Mickey games that I, I don't believe there's been a Mickey game collection, right? No, we got Castle of Illusion like remastered for the 360. Wait, really? They remastered Castle of Illusion? I had that for the NES. You uh, have it for Xbox. Oh wait, no. Yeah, for, I don't know if I, I don't know if I had Castle Illusion. I had um, fuck. I had I another had NES game. One. I had Mickey Mouse, Mouse Capades. That's a different game. Yeah, but that's the um, name of it, right? Mouse Capades. I'm yes, curious. This is the game I have. I actually think I still have this cartridge. So we got Aladdin and Lion King together. Yes. Oh, I had Mouse Capades too. I played the shit out of that game. And Sorry. then a few years later, they added Jungle Book to that collection. Now okay. I'm curious if at some point we don't get like a bigger collection, even if with it's all like, of these things. Yeah. So I don't know with some of these I mean, games this, this, how this one gargoyles exists a little bit differently than the other ones. The other ones were like here is Aladdin as it was on the Genesis, as it was on the Game Boy, as it was on the Game Gear. Like you could select the different versions. Yeah. This is a different case, so it doesn't really fit in with those other ones, but it would be cool to have, like, here is a Disney in the 90s gaming collection. Yeah. I mean, that, and that's... DuckTales. And that's different, uh, different too, because, again, like, like you'd said, like, a lot of those games had different versions, and, like, the Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo versions of, like, Aladdin are not the same game. They are different, yeah. so... That's a little bit different. There's a little bit more meat on those bones to to make more well, with those things. Where Gargoyles doesn't have that. That's how the collection is, anyways. Yeah, yeah. So Gargoyles doesn't yeah. have that. Um, yeah. Like, I, end of the day, I think if you are a Gargoyles fan or you've played this game, I think there's something here for you. If you don't have an affinity for Gargoyles, I don't know personally. If I say, like, yes, this is a like retro platformer worth checking out, like, I, I, I think you need to have some sort of gargoyles want for this to really be something for you. Cause I, I don't know. Unless you just like playing old games, especially, you know, for the games that you didn't have or whatever, then maybe it is something for you to check out. But I, I think you need to have that like little, little bit of want with gargoyles for this to mean something for you. In my opinion, I don't know if you feel the same way, dumb, or if you think it, if you think it stands on its own. I It's, I mean, it's just tough because, I mean, I would say that it's worth checking out as like a as a game and at like as itself. But we also just like we're in a period of time where like Mario just came out, uh, Spider Man. I was gonna say we're out. like inundated like, with like have, so many good games. Yeah, like we have. Like, it's everything. like it's like the worst time for this yeah, game to have come out because this, this is, is like this, been a this game. is this is like a. This is the game to check out when times are slow. Yeah, and it just like. It, we're not in slow times right yeah. now. Or again, if you like gargoyles, like if you like gargoyles or you liked this game growing up, like fantastic, you're yeah, you're fucking yeah, you're you're living you're living in the the one gargoyles thing they're giving you. So, yeah. uh, congratulations. But yeah, I mean, I'm I'm towards the end, so I'll finish it probably this weekend, and then you know I, that'll be I'm I'm happy at the at the baseline for me. I'm happy it exists because video game preservation sucks. So. You know, I wish video games were just could be accessible in better ways, and unfortunately, that's not the world we live in. So, it is cool to see them not just bring it forward, but take the time and, and effort and and you know, really give it a yeah. Like it it does. Like Dom effort. said, like I personally prefer gameplay wise. I prefer the re like the retro Sega Genesis graf graphics, but it it does look kind of like the cartoon in the updated stuff. Like it's like a cool rendition of that. If you know, that's what you want to do. Um, I will say that the one reason that I would say that everyone should go out and buy it is so that they keep making them. <laughs> yeah. I can't, I can't tell everyone to spend their money so that Disney keeps making these games, but like 
I we're we're at a point where like like companies aren't going to keep making things that don't work or that they're not like collecting money on. So yeah, I don't know. It it it's a weird one. I yeah. I think I don't. I definitely think it's a good game in slow times. It's just I have trouble telling you to go out and buy it when. We got a Sonic game, we got a Mario game, we got a Spider-Man game this week. Well, that'll that'll mm-hmm. do it. Thanks to uh, Disney Games for sending us over a code for us to check that out. Uh, yeah. When I when I finish the game, if my opinion changes, I'll bring it up in a future episode of the podcast. But, uh, anyways. What's well, it's funny when you brought up that game because I'm like, fuck, man, how are you guys finding time to play that game with everything that's out there right now? I'm like, motherfuckers, <laughs> like, I can't even find time to play what I want to play right now, let alone like, you know. yeah. I mean, I, I I like I don't like jumping around as much as you do, Todd. You jump around, in my opinion, Listen, way too I fucking much. Jump, I don't want to jump around, but there's so many games I want to play. Everything like yeah. I'm excited for all these games. That I mean, I, it's like. I, I I don't know what to do. I mean, I I did grow up in that era. We all did. So like, I yeah. do. Oh, I you're do the like, old guy now. All right. Yeah, Sorry. I do like playing <laughs> games, especially I hadn't have never played before. I like checking them out. So like, I I appreciate the opportunity to like check something out that I again I don't think I played this game growing up. Um, because you know I I mean, th- this is the guy that has a fucking box copy of Super Mario Bros. Three that I bought on the shelf. You know what I mean? Like I I love that era of games and that was older era, but, uh, you know, I, I like playing, I like playing games. I like checking things out, but that'll bring us I, to, I also oh, want to, I also just want to add that I need a uh, toy story remaster whenever they get a chance. <laughs> it's, that's why Don wants, that's the real reason why Don wants you guys to spend yeah. money is he wants that fucking toy yeah. story remaster. Um, anyways, I never, I never, I don't think I ever played that game either. Did you play I that game? Though? Yeah. Yes. Is it good? Uh, it is, challenging that rewind feature is going to come in handy (laughs) yeah there's an rc level that was fucking a pain in the ass on fucking genesis is the is that the same case as the genesis version different from the super nintendo version or you don't know i don't remember um yeah it's weird i that's like for some reason we had aladdin and lion king on genesis even though we've like I think we primarily played Super Nintendo, so I don't know why we had the Genesis version of those games, which I think people say is the better versions, the Genesis ones of those two games. Maybe not. I feel like I feel like generally the Genesis versions of like adaptation games were better. Hmm. Interesting. I don't, I don't know why. Yeah. I just feel I feel like they played better. Interesting. So that'll bring us to kind of. I mean, we'll definitely talk about Mario Wonder a little bit, but does anyone else have anything else they want to talk about before we jump into Mario Wonder? I beat Cocoon. What'd you think? I Were you not here when we talked about that? Was it the week I was gone? not. Okay. That was the week I was off. Um, I thought it was a great puzzle game. Like a great like modern puzzle game. It was like a good spin on a puzzle game. Yeah. Like... Uh, I didn't think it was like overly challenging or anything, but like the mechanics, like the puzzle mechanics, I thought were pretty cool. Felt good, yeah. yeah. Um, it's a Game Pass game, so I would. I still that's, a, beat it, yeah. that's, that's another game that I would say came out at an unfortunate time, but like yeah. when yeah. it starts slowing down, everyone should go check it out. Yeah, that yeah. game's gonna get buried right now. Yeah, it's I'm um, sure. it's uh, who developed it? X played it. Guys, did inside. Yes, it's, yes. It's X-play yeah. people, yeah. Yep. Wait, tell me, have you ever played Inside? I played... Did you play Limbo? Limbo, and not Inside, yeah. Oh, dude, you gotta play Inside. I was trying to remember inside. which one of the two I played. Yeah, you gotta definitely check out Inside. I think yeah, Inside's I, overrated. I don't know. I, and I, I, well, I, like, I understand that coming from you, because based on your movies and everything, I feel like... Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm not saying... Ta- 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 no, 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 Todd's, no, no. Todd's no, really no, gonna no. sit here and go... <laughs> The limbo is uh it pl- inside is the a24 of no. uh of indie games. Uh, it is in some ways so it kind of is <laughs> oh my god uh, stop it no it that's is. such a, that's such a and, weak I'm description saying, limbo is limbo is the uh blumhouse yeah i'm not saying it's because 
of your taste. Of, I just feel like it's like kind of not your style of like, you know, like based off of like what you like in movies and everything. And like, I don't know. I just fucking feel like it's not your jam. It's a little too weird for you. I don't, I feel like you don't like weird. What like the fuck weird, are you like, talking about? No, I feel like you're more of a, I feel like most of the like you're more of a Peppa Pig kind of guy. Yeah. More of a Peppa Pig kind <laughs> yeah. of guy. That no, it, inside is absolutely my type of game. I just thought that it was fine. The puzzles were fine. And, I don't know the the twist. The I twist did. Down, I don't know right the though. twist did anything to me that it did for you, or or most people. Yeah, like it was. I don't know. I don't fucking know. Uh, Sapphire Jade in the chat said, "If you want to listen to PDC play the Lion King, just go back to episode nine of the podcast." I forgot we did the Lion King as one of our early garbage episodes. So yeah, if you want to go in the archives, you too can. We're not going to remaster it. Sorry, it's going to just live as it is, and it's fucking shitty form so we just should we just remaster it and we'll do another episode where we just play it <laughs> i mean i'll yes, do it please. i'll fucking do it uh i don't know i'm actually kind of due for either a limbo or inside replay because i actually don't think limbo's that i don't like limbo i don't hate either. it i don't it's yeah like that's they're not like bad games like I, I i don't think inside is inside a bad game I, I just think that it's uh you know I, I don't have the same love for it that, you know, it seems a lot of people do, which is fine. I mean, I there's plenty of fucking indie games that I have probably more love than most people do. You know what I mean? Like, we're we're probably very heavily Cyan Our Wild Hearts podcast. I feel like that's not, doesn't get the same love think, that other yeah, people do. Oh, I was going to say, we all love it, though. That's like one thing we all That's what I'm saying. Like, that, that's like, we, we, yeah. we champion that. But, like, I think everything else we kind of split up on. Like, me and Dom love Shovel Knight. Todd doesn't give a fuck about Shovel Knight. I don't think Mike's ever played Shovel Knight. Uh, Facts. I love the messenger. I don't think anyone else here likes the messenger. I'm, I'm Hades and Dead Cells. I don't think anyone really cares that much. Uh, I like Dead Cells. Hades just didn't grab me the way everyone else got grabbed by it, and I wish it did. I just it didn't grab me that way. Um, it might it might just be the time you were like if you were playing other games while you were playing it. It's like I feel like that's a game if you went back to and like caught the loop of it, you'd probably get into it. Maybe I don't know. I mean, Mike loves fucking Mike loves Super Meat Boy. I'm impartial to that. I don't hate it. I don't dislike it. I love Super Meat Boy. Yeah, I kind of like Super Meat Boy too. Todd sucks. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think. I don't. I mean, I love Mike, under. I love like, Undertale. Mike was like, Brett was like trying to throw you out on an island. Yeah, Mike I like Super Meat Boy. Like, yeah, I think like Super Meat Boy too. I don't know why. I like I know, I'm, James, I'm just. I'm just trying to see where everyone where everyone lands at. The rest of Undertale you need to fucking play them. Undertale. Yeah, I, never I think played. it's overrated. Uh, I have it. I think it has. I, I think it has like one of the best soundtracks ever. In games, I but, like, I, I think like, that Undertale yeah. is arguably, arguably, and I probably wouldn't put it as my number one. But I, anyone that would argue Undertale's like the best indie RPG or in, maybe even indie game, I would, I would listen to their argument. Well, it's funny because if we go back to like our indie panel we had at PAX, yeah. I don't know if any of the games I said would now be in my top three anymore. I think I have like a well, yeah. You said games. like fucking Spelunky. That was my uh, last pick. Like, what was my other pick? I don't, I even don't remember. Oh, Inside would still be there. Inside was one, um, and maybe Dead Cells. I don't know. I wasn't Dead Cells. I can't remember what else I put. Binding of Isaac. No, I never played. Someone it. Someone probably did mention that though. This is a Fortnite lovers podcast. It used to be an Overwatch podcast. It's true. These are all true things. Um, R.I.P. Overwatch. R.I.P. Overwatch. I yep. that game. I I do think the the three of you need to play Undertale. It is like it is hey, not looks, it is I, not overrated. I, I will try In my it, opinion, that's, it like I it's not overrated. It if you don't like it, that's one thing. That's but I nice. I don't think that's a game that's like blown out of proportion the love and like admiration that that game gets. I think it is deserved. I think that's a very good game. Uh. Anyways, yeah, Mike, you should play it. That's, that's a fucking I, Mike ass I, game. I, again, I I started it, and I think the problem was that I knew too much about the game, so I thought I need I I felt like I should play it a certain way, and I'm definitely not gonna be able to play it that certain so, way. What were you trying to like? Trying like to me like trying run? to pull off a like a no a yeah, yeah, uh, pacifist run. A pacifist run. My first try is a mistake. So that's what I did. The one and only time I played through Undertale, I was like, oh, the true. I believe the true ending is if you do a pacifist run. So I was like, oh, I want to get the true ending. I don't know if I'll ever play it a second time, not knowing if, like, 
I will play Undertale again at some point, but I won't do a pacifist run because I've already done that. So I'll just fucking murder everybody, I guess. Um, <laughs> but I think either way, Mike, just I just play it because I think you'll enjoy it. It's like hard to say. Like, yes, it is worth doing a pacifist run because the game is... It's not just the end is different, the game is different. But mm-hmm. if that's not if you're not feeling that, then don't play it that way. Just play like how you're feeling. Cuz the game it's not just the ending. The game changes based on how you're playing it cuz there's like Yes. I believe there's I don't even know how many endings. I believe there's a lot of endings and I think a lot of what the endings are altered by is how much cuz I think there's like different ending if you like, you know, kill some some enemies but not all of them and there's like a different ending if you're like fucking killing everything you fight um the the thing that i enjoyed about the pacifist thing which i guess mild spoiler for undertale even though we just said there's like multiple endings so i guess also spoiler uh play undertale the the way the combat changes if you do a pacifist run is you have to figure out it's like a puzzle you have to figure out how to get out of the encounters without yes. attacking and that like mechanic really intrigued me and i was like oh this is like my fucking jam like this is this is like very interesting that this game is like ha- has this fucking in it that it's like oh no figure out how to get out of the fight without fighting anyone and it's and do that for the entire game it's really cool the only downside which again i guess spoiler maybe i shouldn't say it i won't say it on the podcast i won't say it specifically for you mike uh, if you want to hear it after, I'll tell you. But there is a character you don't fight at the end. If you, I think I'm aware of that. Okay, I don't know if I knew that or not. I don't. I just knew that there was a true ending. Um, I don't think I knew specifics. But I was like, part of me was kind of sad that I didn't get to do that fight myself. But then I watched it on YouTube after because a, I love that character. And I guess B, I wouldn't want to fight that character because I love that character. But the music for that fight is so fucking good. Uh, anyways, Undertale's a great game. Anyone playing anything else before we talk about Mario Wonder? Uh, I'm playing, like you said, 100 games. You really <laughs> I'm playing are. AC, I'm playing AC Mirage right now. With, um, uh, it's a solid 7.5. But for me personally, it's like an 8.5. Oh. I, think there's a t- I think there's a ton of flaws with this game. But it brings me back to like way old school Assassin's Creed, and I'm re- and it's like straight up stealth. But it's like goofy stealth in some ways. Like someone sees you, then all of a sudden, like two seconds later, you're like not seen, kind of thing. So like it has its flaws, but I'm really enjoying it. Um, stories, whatever. It's basically like the gameplay loop that I'm enjoying on this game. Um, so I'm playing that. Um, playing tons of Quest Three stuff. I'm playing Population. I mean, we've already talked about all that, but. Me and Brendan bought a Quest Three. Yeah, so, we'll we'll do a Quest Three episode soon. Uh, we'll just yeah, do like yeah. a separate, um, like a like a kind of yeah. a separate segment on on Quest Three because I think it's worth talking about. Yeah, and then I started Spider Man Two, um, but like three hours into that, and uh, all I'll say is it's exactly what I was hoping it wasn't. And I know Dom probably hasn't gotten his copy yet, but it's just more of the same to me. And it's uh, I'm having some issues with it so far. Like it's like. The first three hours have been nothing but cutscenes and slow walking, and I need that's to... not more of the. It, it's I don't know. It's like I liked Miles. I didn't like Spider Man that much, and I don't know. It just feels like it's just like set piece after set piece is the cool stuff, and the story seems pretty cool, but the overall it just seems like it's I'm playing more DLC from the original Spider Man. I'm going to need to avoid the internet because I feel like the internet is already, already had trying to fuck. Yeah. yeah, no, people are being dicks because people. Yeah. I think it's like people literally are trying to. And they're putting I like saw. I saw a like, post. This happens. This happens. This happens. I saw like, a post earlier. I think it was from IGN that was like, "Can we talk about the post credit scene?" And I was like, "No." Yeah, I was like, "Why can't talk yeah, about the post credit scene?" It's <laughs> not the IGN does that shit all the time. They always do that. Um, yeah, uh, but it's uh, so like I was telling Brendan. Uh, I've had a lot of glitches, which I didn't have any issues in the first game. I've had a lot. Like, I had an instance yesterday where, this is in the first hour, where I'm fighting and it was just straight slow-mo, and it wouldn't unbreak me from slow-mo. So I had to, like, reset the game and go back out. I've had issues with, uh, like, my cape that, like, one of the suits was in the front, and it would not go away from the front. But, like, the big thing that they changed was, like, you get a wingsuit, which we've all seen. But, like... 
other than that, and like in the wingsuit suit seems like kind of like unspider man y. And it, like you can just do that the whole time. You don't really need to even swing. You just like, just open the wings. Oh, really? just, yeah, it's pretty much that. But uh, I don't know. I'm not gonna hate on it just yet. I'm only three hours in, but it's uh, I'm, I'm a little disappointed because I was I don't know what I was hoping for. Side content is as bad as the first game so far for me. Um, I liked the first game. I don't. You did or didn't? Yeah, I liked the first game. I so I I would say the first game for me was like a seven point five. I didn't hate it. I finished it through. Like I, I just uh, I felt like. This is a potential for this awesome open world game, but the open world is just so hollow in some ways. And I'm kind of okay. getting the same vibe for this. And like, maybe I shouldn't look at it as an open world game, even though I guess that's kind of what it is. But I don't know. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I. The the other thing with the internet right now is that, like you just said, like you experience glitching. There's fucking. Sony stands like all over the internet that are like, you're not fucking playing the game right if you're getting these glitches. Like, oh, here's just, the thing too. Here's the just thing. relax. Like, dude, nobody dude, attacking like, you as like a. You can't system. say anything bad. You literally yeah. can't say anything bad. And like, I watch people all over Twitter for like ever saying some bad stuff about, uh, what's it called? Starfield. Like, yeah, everything. It's, like, any it's game. It's literally that like, out, like, oh, oh, you're going to complain you about right Spider Man, but you won't complain about Starfield. You, I'll tell like, you this right now. Just leave it. Oh, like, the only issue I have with Starfield, and i like, I put four days worth of time in the staff field was I got stuck on a table one time. And that was the extent of my glitches. I've had way more glitches in Spider-Man two so far than I had in Starfield. but like whatever different games, not even the close to like the same type of games. Uh, yeah, but I, I don't know. And, but like my, I, I didn't want me and Brendan had a lot of issues with the first game where like you play as Mary Jane and like slow down the story. And like, you know, you're feeling like well, it, the play it's not that you hold on. It's not that you play as Mary Jane. It's the specifically the stealth portions of that yeah. game because you do yeah, stealth yeah. as miles as well and it's just like yeah. what the fuck are we doing anyways yeah and, and this game does the exact same shit it can, brings the game to it as soon as you start get going like the first time you get to go into the open world you're out in the open world for half hour then i'm back into a cutscene for about 45 minutes and i'm not joking it was like 45 minutes of like sneaking around like a school and i'm like oh we're back here again i'm like can i just fucking enjoy this open world and let me just fucking go where i want kind of thing i feel like it doesn't let you do that and i don't know you can but like i don't know we'll see i, I like i still i like the story so far so I, that's the one driving for us and the gameplay's fine it's like it's it's just the exact same gameplay with just like some tweaks here and there you know but um yeah we'll see I don't know. I, I, I'm already a little disappointed, though. But, like, I was coming into this negative anyway, so I, maybe I'm not the right person to fucking really even talk about it, but I don't know. Well, I would like to yeah. thank Target for delaying my copy <laughs> until Thursday. Yeah, right. Oof. 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 Thursday's uh, rough. Yep, I got the confirmation that it would be here Thursday. What's the reasoning behind oh. that when they say that? Like, uh, the original reason said backordered. You should... Uh... I don't know. You just walk I, don't into a I was going to say go buy the, the game and then return it when it comes in. I, I, yeah. don't, I, don't know. I would just like Target that's, to that's like fix their fucking pre-ordering. Like, yeah, that's a well, disaster. Listen, 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 I can go down a whole web of stuff because I, I bought the Oculus 3 at Target and I bought the lower gig and then I realized when I downloaded all my old games that I, my storage was already full and I'm like, I don't, Brendan does not agree with me. But no, anyways, I realized ridiculous. my storage was full already. Okay, It was not full. But There's I, no I way it was, it was full. It was 100% full because I had a hundred and 28 or 130 on my old one. This is only 156. It gives what are you, 20 yeah, Why are you downloading all the games you had? You're not playing all, all those games. games on it. You're I not playing all those it, games. Period. Probably not, but There's I want them on There's no it, other video game platform that you have that you have all of your games downloaded on. Because it's not possible. Uh, I, I would if I could. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, sure. Of course. Everyone would. But uh, that's not how it works. Switch. Boom. Burned. <laughs> Uh, but what I was going to say, like, so I had to return it. And when I say I had to deal with these people, they, they were nice. Don't get me wrong. But, like, they're like your card. It's not, this isn't the same card you used. I'm like, I used Apple Pay. They're like, okay, well, let's try your debit card. I'm like, that didn't work. They're like, let's use Apple Pay. That didn't work. I'm like, they're like, yeah, I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do. I'm like, so if I just bought a, like, a very expensive thing, you're telling me I, I'm just stuck with this now? Like, I can't do anything about it. They're like, yeah. They were literally like, whatever. And I'm, what it turned out to be, if you ever play with Apple Pay and you have this issue, don't type in your password. They kept on telling me to type in your password, just hit enter. And that's all it was. That simple. I had to fucking call like a hundred people, but like 
they were literally like, I'm sorry, you're just going to have to keep it. They literally told me, you're going to have to keep this. I'm like, <laughs> I, just paid, I was like, I just paid $500 for this thing. What do you mean I have to keep it? You know, it was crazy. And like, they're short staff, so I get it. Like, I'm surprised they let you I return got. it when you had opened it and put it on and used it and down. Like, I'm surprised oh, they let yeah. you return well, it. Well, you know what it was? It was because it was like a day old. I only had it for a day. So it was probably like, they, they, I, I, here's what I said. I go and Liam was with me. And You're Liam on a like, podcast right now. Just, I just, yeah, wanted, no, I know, okay, all right. I just, that's no, fine. It, Whatever it, you want to say. I, I told him I bought it for Liam. And then when I realized I bought it for him, it's, you have to be 13 and up to use these things. And I was like, I didn't realize that I was setting it up for him doing all this. And they were like, Oh, you have to be 13. I'm like, yeah, you have to be 13. You know? <laughs> and, and, and Liam's there and he's like, daddy. And he was hiding behind me. He didn't want them to ask him questions. I'm like, hey, they're not going to ask you any questions. <laughs> I would hate to have I'm to like confused. back but then up you my fucking dad's bought lie. another one. I so what? Where was the lie that that way? What's that? Did you go somewhere else to buy the new one? Like, what? yeah, I went right right next to Best Buy and got the higher gig. Yeah. No, no I'm saying you returned it to a different Target. Oh no, it's the same Target. But you know how that with open electronics and something Bro, that I expensive, this is, I didn't this... want to. Like, <laughs> I'm glad we got to talk about your fucking returning experience. Anything else before we talk about Mario Wonder in this podcast yeah, goes target, fucking off target. the rails? Fix your fucking pre order. Yeah, fix your pre orders yeah. for turn. Fix target, your pre order and, and don't let Todd put that same shit again. Yeah, just let yeah, Todd do it. That's fine. It's the same way, though, with this fucking pre order shit. Like, I feel like that happens all the time with them. I mean, I will say, I picked up my copy of Mario Wonder from Best Buy on Friday and. They the the there was like a bonus for buying it at Best Buy that was like a art print of the cover, and when I went to go pick it up, I was like, oh, she was like, here you go, all set, and I was like, oh, actually, I think there's supposed to be like an art print or something, and she was like, oh no, there's nothing else here on your thing. I'm like, oh, I'll pull up my pre order thing because like it's definitely in my email that I'm supposed to have an art print, and she was like, oh, well, if you were supposed to get it, those were gone this morning, so like we don't have any more of those, so. You definitely should have got a cancellation that they that we didn't have that anymore. And I was like, oh, okay. So then I no. left and I went on my – I went on the Best Buy app and it was like your art print's not ready for pickup. And I was like, well, it's giving me the option to change the shipping. Shipping it is. So hopefully it shows up in the mail because – Oh, cool. That's it's cool. kind of weird that they like for pre-order didn't have enough. I assume that employee item. took it or something. You know, something they like probably that. just like, it yeah, was, they probably just had more than more pre-orders they than they were, were going to get. So, or they were giving it to people as they bought it this morning. Probably, well, yeah, that, that yeah. The, the just new people that were buying it. That's probably yeah. what happened too. So, they probably um, only got a certain amount based on how many pre-orders they had, and then they were just giving them out with copies. Which makes me even more happy that I didn't deal with Walmart because I don't even want to know how the card bullshit went around for that game over there did you get came your pack right, it came right in the mail yep. did you open it no problem yeah did, i'm assuming you don't have I a 2500 dollars elephant no. mario card no. <laughs> i have uh the hollow card got... that i got was wonder bowser jr nice i i'm not gonna lie i really debated going to walmart today and just like if they had packs just buying another copy of the game i i like it's only with the you can't get them separately, right? It's only with buying yes. the game, right? Yes. Okay. And I'll tell you right now that it's not going to be substantial, but they definitely sold a lot of extra copies of that game through Walmart with that promotion because yeah. Oh, yeah. those yeah, those people, I like eBay with that card right now is nuts. So, anyways, mm-hmm. if if you're listening and you know what the fuck I'm talking about. You know, different retailers usually have, or not usually, but sometimes have different like pre-order bonuses for certain high-profile games. And Walmart had—I feel, like, feel like most Nintendo games get them. Nintendo usually does. Some some other ones sometimes will, but uh, Nintendo uh, for Super Mario Brothers Wonder, there was a Walmart exclusive pack of trading cards that had, you know, different trading cards in it, and there was one of a thousand el- like gold elephant Mario cards and. For a game that's gonna sell an easy couple mil this weekend, uh, you know, thousand people get the chance to, to get a card is that's a very the very very low odd of getting that card. Tom, is it the one with the mask? Is that the one you got? Yeah, yeah. It's like it's, it's going yeah. for fifty sixty bucks on eBay right now. So. Is it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I have to imagine that these packs are still not even high production. Like, I, like there's not gonna be a lot of these packs kicking around. 
might be worth checking out a Walmart in a week and seeing if they're just out there on the counter for sale. I, I don't know if they'll have them, but who knows? Are they doing them in store? Oh, was it was it an online only thing? I got mine in the mail. My pre order, I couldn't do a in store pickup. I feel like they, if you were able to pre order for in store, they probably had them. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe that was part of the part of it. But oh, yeah, thirty. 30 I feel 40 like every time you guys pre order stuff, though, like there's always not always, but like there's somewhat of an issue here and there where like you're like it's not shipping today. No, I'm not talking about Wonder. I'm talking about like games in general. Like this is why I'll never like I hate. You don't buy physical games anyway. Them. No, well, Switch games I do. Well, but, like, I so it wouldn't. depends. If it's a game that I want to play the day of, I just. I usually buy games from Best Buy, so I'll just do in-store pickup. Like, so it's there. Like, they're not gonna. If they don't have my game, that means that they didn't get their shipment of games, which is probably very unlikely. Could that happen? Absolutely, but that that's like a way more unlikely scenario. Pre-ordering it and having it shipped to your house—that's when I, the only time I've had issues really. Um, oh, here's an Elephant Mario card that's at five hundred and twenty dollars with uh two weeks left to go hop in hop in the, i sent one i sent one to brendan today that sold for 3500 yeah people got money to spend they want that elephant mario card uh anyways any anything else before we actually talk about mario wonder anyone did you start no. mario wonder yet mike uh yeah a little bit whoa we've all, i saw we've, him in there we've all played the game what are you what are your how far are you mike not very far what how, what are your thoughts on it so far are you typically a Mario like two D guy or three D guy? Or? No, I think I'm mostly three D. Okay. What are, your, so, what are your thoughts so far? I I don't know. I I guess it's fine. I I popped in as Luigi. I'm going around. The flowers always like, hey, oh, I wonder if you can go back there. Okay, thanks for the, the thanks for the heads up. I figured it'd go back there. I just need to figure out how to get back there. But since you said something, I'll hop in a pipe. I think you so can turn I, I, that off if you don't want to listen to it. I I don't mind them. I think they're fine. We'll see how long. I I'm. It will have to get really grating for me to make an effort to turn it off if that's an option. Yeah. For now, I'm just like, yeah, it's fine. Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm really not that far. I think I just got to. What happens? I think you do a couple worlds and then you see Bowser's castle kind of move, and then you use a wonder seed to get your first badge and I played one stage after that. Okay. Uh, so no. Are you excited to play more? I got nothing else going on. <laughs> it's 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 hard. Listen, not every game can be Final Fantasy sixteen for Mike. You know what I mean? Which I also haven't finished. <laughs> yeah, right. So that's what Nintendo needs to do. The Nintendo needs to put out Mike, demos. What's your game of the year? Uh, shit, did I beat something this year? Yeah. Lasagna party? <laughs> I need to finish Pizza Tower too. I do need to finish uh, that. That actually game. might be your game of the year. Did Pizza Tower yeah, come out be. this year? I think so. Oh shit, might get a beat Pizza Tower so you can put it on your game of the year. Tower. Yeah. I should download that game at some point. Um... What were we saying just now? We we're talking about me in video games and yeah. how I'm um, I'm the opposite of Todd. Todd has a million games going on. I've got like three, and I can't be bothered to finish any of them. <laughs> uh, Mike, the life you live, I love it. What about uh, what about you guys? Where where are you at with? Are are you both typically lean either way, three D or two D? Is there a yeah, preference? I don't, I'm I'm cool either way. I don't I don't. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I like either or. I, I really don't have many gripes with Mario except for Odyssey. I was going to say, you fucking hate Odyssey, which you're yeah, that's, ridiculous. That's, that I game's don't hate Odyssey, amazing. but it's whatever. It did, did nothing for me. Yeah, but uh, I, I, I'm, I'm absolutely loving this game uh, so far. I'm only like on World 2, but like I haven't had many, much time to play it. But uh, what I've played of it so far, it's like top tier. And it's like, I think I, when I was texting Brendan the other night and I was like, Dude, this game, like, I don't want to hear anyone be like, oh, it's just another side scrolling Mario game. Like, everything's fucking just, like, perfect. Like, the way it looks, like, the character animations, like, when you go through the pipe and you grab your hat, or, like, you know, like, there's so many simplistic little things. Is that only a Luigi thing? 
No, it's uh, no, everyone, all do everyone okay, does something. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna say because I was definitely playing as Luigi. Mike played as Luigi. I have to imagine that Todd was playing as Luigi. <laughs> I was actually playing as Mario because I thought oh, yeah. I, I was good because I wanted to play as Peach because I like playing as Peach in these games because they're a hover thing. But like, I didn't yeah. realize that none of that stuff exists in this game. But there's so the badges. So you can use the fucking hat thing. So you can use That's that. Yeah, yeah, no, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, I, I just. Uh, Does she pull hat out? Like, she does pull hat out. <laughs> They all, so dumb. They Why all don't do. you just let her use her dress? Yoshi pulls a hat out too. They all pull hats Why? out. Why? So know. dumb. Probably just easier to I mean, animate. I mean, it's it's a very small grip, but yeah. it's just dumb. It is it is odd. Well, but I think I, it, I think it's because the badge is parachute hat, so it's like yeah, I know it's it's technically the uh, the worm, Prince the little Florian turning yeah. into the thing. Yeah. Yes, uh, I've been using Daisy been primarily. Oh, that's what Liam's using too. Yeah. It's been 11 years since the last 2D side-scrolling Mario game. That's fucking wild. No, that that can't be correct. There's no way that's true. And not including, like, the remake for the Switch. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Bro, 11 years? That's not correct. Uh, Is it not correct? It seems seems wrong, but... It it cannot be correct. I'm just... I don't know. How long has it been since the last 3D game? Odyssey 2017. 2017. So that's... Six years. Let's see right now. Yeah. Uh, wonder. Let's see. I mean, what? Wh- wh- 3D World. What? What is that? That's not. Side That's not 3D either. But it's not. I wouldn't. I, it's. It's. It's like a. It's hybrid like isometric. Kind of yeah. It's like 2.5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Mario Maker Two. That had dedicated an entire dedicated single sure, player I mean, campaign. I'm talking about like. Uh, when did it come out? Uh, 2019. Odyssey 2017. Yeah. 2016 Mario Run, which I would not count that, even no, though that is me, a fucking side scroller. Give me like, the, leg- give me like the legit side scrolling. Like I'm not saying Mario Maker is not. Uh, 3D like- World 2013, and then okay. 2012 is Super Mario Brothers U. That's fucking yeah. wild. I mean, That's a long time. Yeah. But it shows how much like how like they they. I think this is such a good. Oh, they they poured a lot into this, and I, oh, I will dude. say I think. Uh. I'm pretty sure that usually 2D Mario games sell a lot more than 3D Mario games. So I expect Wonder because I, I think it's a really good Wait, game. Really? Yeah, I th- I expect really? Wonder to sell fucking like silly numbers, like silly fucking silly 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 numbers at this point of the Switch's life cycle. Like, I think this game's gonna go fucking buck wild, and it's a good game. I th- yeah. I think it should. But yeah, oh my god, fucking 11 years almost. No, it is 11 years. That's... Isn't that crazy? I read something that I'm like, wait, 11 years? I was like, that can't be right. Yeah. But, I mean, you know, I'm happy they took the time they needed to because I think this game is really good. Um, I Listen, I think, I, at this point, I, I think Breath, I mean, uh, Tears of the Kingdom and Wonder, just a little I played, like, if the, I feel like they should both be in Game of the Year talks. Just, I don't know, like, listen, I haven't played that much of it, but I don't know, man. That's fucking pretty damn good. I mean, I'm at the end of World really? 4. I think I'm pretty... I, I don't know if there's additional... I, I know there's at least one additional world outside of World 6. I don't know if there are more additional worlds outside of that, but I mean, I got the game a day early, and I've been playing it almost nonstop since. I will probably finish the game tomorrow. Or I'll probably finish the game tonight, and then I'll go on my quest to 100% it, because I like to 100% Mario games. But... I mean, this is realistically nothing is going to beat fucking Tears of the Kingdom for me personally. Like, Tears of the Kingdom is my game of the year. I, I don't foresee anything else I play this year do, changing my mind on that. Um, Wonders will probably be in my top three. I just don't know if it will be above or below Sea of Stars because that's currently my will be my top three. And then, uh, I don't know, from there I get a... I gotta, I gotta finish some things sitting in the backlog, like Star Wars and Diablo, which I don't think Diablo will, will might make my top ten. It won't be high in my top ten if it does, um, and I probably won't play Baldur's Gate three enough this year if it comes to Xbox to have that in my conversation. And I really just fucking dropped the ball at Starfield. I just didn't play it. Like I. <laughs> like I just didn't play it, and I was excited about it, and I will play it at some point. I mean, I yeah, just it's didn't like play a game it. you gotta. I like didn't you need to have dedicated like, time. I don't. Yeah, yeah like, I, I, I literally stopped everything for that like, game. And, yeah. Starfield came out while I was wrapping up stuff on Sea of Stars and like 
hundred percenting Sea of Stars, and we did like fucking three spoiler casts on it. Like I, there was just so much else occupying my time, and Sea of Stars was such a big game for me that I just it pushed Starfield, and then and then I got a code for something else. So I just I had other things I had to play. So that was kind of what fucked Starfield over. But I do want to play Starfield, so we'll see. I don't, it it won't. I don't think it will break my top three. Uh, Pikmin Four also like I don't expect that to be on many people's top list for the year, but I really like Pikmin Four. I think I said Pikmin Three, but I meant Pikmin Four. No, you said Pikmin Four. Okay. So back to Mario Wonder though. I, I will say like I love this game. I think it's phenomenal. I have very few issues with it. Um, the music is so good. Like the the gameplay feels as good as it does for Mario games. Like it's tight feels very responsive, feels like it's, you know, top of its class when it comes to platforming uh, side-scrolling games. You know, it's a brand new game. I have to sit with it for a while after I finish it, but I still don't know if it cracks my favorite. Like, it definitely doesn't crack my favorite Mario game. I I think that's impossible to do at this point. I just think there's too much nostalgia tied to Mario for me to alter that which is weird because i feel like i would say the same thing about zelda but breath of the wild and tears of the kingdom did it both times uh but i don't feel like like mario has come close mario 3d world is my number two mario game like full stop i think mario 3d world is a perfect fucking mario game i am shocked every time i see people rate rate that game low on a Mario list because I it just boggles my fucking mind. We're not talking about is Mario sixty four a good game? Is Sunshine a good game? We're talking about what I think is just like just a good fucking game. And I can't believe there are people that think it's a bottom tier, bottom of the list Mario game. That's wild to me. Wonder though, I think is is up there. It's just it Mario three is the goat to me. I, I don't. I just don't know how Mario three gets topped personally it's funny it's funny because mario 3 to me was such a huge deal because i saw the wizard in theaters and that's when you found out about like the first flute and like that was like before like you had internet so like we got our first glimpse of like yeah it was nintendo's first direct yeah like it pretty much and like some and like he was at the like the tournament like and like you know they're playing a game that we were all waiting for and you know we got to see and everyone knew to get the yeah, that's everyone not, knew to get the flute though. You know, like it that's was like, not my that joke. I, I, I'm pretty sure yeah, anytime I, the whiz goes on, is it the whiz or the wizard? The, it's I, the whiz. The whiz. The whiz. It's definitely yeah. the whiz. Definitely it's not the, the whiz. whiz. It's not the wizard. It's yeah. not the wizard. Yeah. Uh, anytime it goes on sale online or something, I feel like Wario usually tweets it out and says Nintendo's like original Nintendo Direct on sale for. Like, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what he he, he writes. Uh, Mario three eases on down the road. <laughs> <laughs> um. But That's a Liz I, joke. I, I got you. I got you. I think that this is like this. I is forgot. A, I, I actually forgot. We that did you it. Watched the Liz. We, we did it for uh for this. See the I'm cultured all of a sudden. I think this is like for sure a modern classic Mario game. Like it's it is like very polished. There's so much going on in there. I kind of like that. Uh, well, I guess there are a couple of new power ups because there's the elephant suit, there's the drill suit, and then there's the bubble suit. I don't know if there's another new suit. If there is, I haven't gotten to it. But like, you look at some Mario games, and it's like the new mechanics get usually weaved into new power up abilities, new suits, and there are those here. But also, I just think they were like, hey, let's not make eighty new suits. Let's just fucking go kind of nuts with like we'll introduce this thing into this level and maybe we'll do it again in a different level or maybe we never will touch it again and it you just, become huge like, yeah like the 3ds ones or like the coins you get so many coins yeah you know, like, or yeah like, i just i i don't know i i like that they played around with a lot of gameplay elements with the wonder element of just like hey you activate the wonder seed and now it's fucking everything's upside down yeah. pretty much yeah so I, I'm really enjoying it. Like it constantly it just looks so good too. Like, it does look really good. It just looks so good. There's definitely it's like so much more vibrant. Like you know, yeah, like any there's other. definitely a very specific palette choice mm-hmm. that like it's not pastel. 
but it's not like super fucking bright. It's this weird. No, it's got a lot of greens. It's yeah, like a lot it's of like, like a couple of colors. It, that, it's yeah. very, very like pleasing. Like it's a very like yeah, I like uh, existing we're in, a in new this. Kingdom. We are in a new kingdom. Yeah. So I got a question oh, for cool. you. Yeah. Hit me. So our our gang is all there because Prince Florian invited them. Yep. Well, why does Bowser show up? Because he's why always watching. Why does Bowser know they're in a different kingdom? He's always watching. He's he just he wants to be in the gang. He's isn't, always isn't, following behind. Isn't that wouldn't that be his his chance to be like, all right, nobody's in Mushroom Kingdom. I'm taking over. <laughs> That's and actually that is true. Because the reality is he doesn't want to take over the Mushroom Kingdom. He wants to bag Elephant Peach. That's what he wants. Yeah. God, please tell me you've all seen that that official clip that official Nintendo <laughs> yes clip. did you see did you not see this mike you know what we're talking about i don't think i, this, I, I don't think i saw it and bowser it's like a very short like thing ad for this and it's like peach and bowser walks up and like hands her a flower and she's mm-hmm. like oh and then the fucking elephant apple thing like rolls over to peach and it activates and she turns into an yep. elephant and bowser's fucking jaw drops and he looks around <laughs> And he throws the flower and pulls out a fucking bouquet of flowers. And he's like, uh, uh, and it's like, all right, Bowser's, Bowser's fucking. Yeah, Bowser likes some thick. All right. Bowser Bowser like thick. Thick. It's canon. It's canon. It's, it's a good I respect clip. respect it. It's a good clip. Got to respect it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I, I don't really have much bad things to say. I mean, my, my yeah, bar. I'm waiting for it to get good. Wow. Is that where you're wow. at? You don't, you're not liking it or you are liking it? No, it's fine. I don't. I usually don't like 2D Mario games. Mm-hmm. I usually play them, and I'm like, all right, well, that was fine. Okay. Um, this one, I mean, this one is not. I will say that, like, as much as it's a 2D Mario game, it does not feel like a 2D Mario game. Yeah. Like, no, what we were talking it's about, like, it's, it kind of blends like the world. Shit. Yeah, well, like, in like the world when you're walking around, it blends like that, like. 3D world, kind of like you can. You're not going line by line. You're like you can walk to whatever level yeah, you, you can, want, yeah. sort of thing, kind of thing, and yeah, which is dope. Because I, 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 I like that format, and I don't want them to ever change that format. Really. Yeah, I, I think there's a lot of overall things that I think they're kind of establishing, at least for like the next few games. Like this is kind of just like how Mario games are going to function. It's like, you know. It's not a set line. You can play around. You know, hey, you want to play a little harder level? It's over here. You you know, you're looking for the easier way through. It's over here. I, I think there's a lot of stuff that they're probably going to continue to, you know, iterate on and implement as things go forward of just being like, this is how Mario is now. Um, I'm curious if, I mean, obviously, I'm only in the second or third world at this point, but I am curious if, them visiting the flower kingdom is like going to be a thing going forward. Like, I wonder if like, they're going to do more stories. Like, yeah, Outside we're not mushroom, mushroom kingdom, kingdom anymore. Yeah. yeah. I, I kind of hope they do just cause I mean, I, I guess, I guess they did it with odyssey, right? He was in yeah, new dark true. city and yeah, he was he's in, in all these other different kingdoms, Jurassic world. And, and they were kingdoms, which I think is important to, yeah. Know, for like Mario's sake to to kind yeah. of hone in on Mario Galaxy, they were on different planets. Yeah, but, I think yeah. that's probably their best way forward, especially because they've they've taken such a hard stance to branch out into movies now, and that movie did so well, and they're probably going to you know make a handful more. I think it protects them in the long run, both for games and other media, to be like. Yeah, the stuff we didn't wonder just exists in wonder because it's in the Flower Kingdom, and that's the shit that goes on in the fucking Flower Kingdom. You know what I mean? So it's like they don't have to necessarily worry about continuity with like game mechanics or continuity with like way things might be in this Mario game, but maybe the next Mario game they want to do something completely different. I, I think that gives them a little more, you know, freedom to explore. Um, because again, like, not that I don't think people are like playing a mario platformer both 2d or 3d for the story even though i think odyssey has a good story um i think just giving them that freedom of like we're not tied to the mushroom kingdom you can go fuck around over here it's the same thing with mario and luigi like mario and luigi super saga doesn't take i don't think it takes place in the mushroom kingdom i think it's like the bean kingdom or something uh i never beat any of those games i don't remember i played one of them but yeah I, I don't think they're in the Mushroom Kingdom. Maybe they are. I don't fucking know. But 
I, I I like a lot of the stuff that they pl- they're playing around with in this game. I think it's it's very solid. I think that you know if you want the experience I usually go for is like the hundred percent mentality of yeah Mario is challenging in some points and sometimes it's not, but the there's more challenge there if you want to hundred percent it, and there's even more challenge there if you want to do the like the end end game levels which akin to like Super Mario World for the Super Nintendo, you can slowly access the like end game special levels as you f- if you can find them throughout the game. Um, you can get access to that um, as you're playing, which I do appreciate because I'm like, oh, I get a taste of this fucking nonsense. But now I got to go back to the regular game. So I've been hunting. I've, I probably could have honestly, with the amount I played today, I probably could have beat like the quote unquote game today um but i got so fixated on trying to find the secret paths to get to the that's other what i want to take my time with it i don't want to like rush through it because i feel like i rush through the 2d mario games i feel yeah. like that's my biggest thing i do is i just go through them way too quick it it's a weird thing of like i don't feel like i'm rushing it's just like i didn't go to bed early last night had a couple of fucking margaritas last night i wasn't not in a space of, oh, I'm going to get up early. I woke up at fucking 7.30 today. No alarm. Unprompted. Woke up. Got a drink of water. Took a piss. Fed the cat. And I was like. Sound like me. I was like, I, I got up today because I want to play Mario. Like that, That's why I got up. Without admitting it to myself in the morning. Because I woke up. I looked at my <laughs> phone. And I was like, why the fuck am I awake right now? And then I was like, I kind of just want to fucking lay up and play Mario. So I fucking like. Went and got a coffee. Like, Jen was still asleep. I was like, went and got a coffee, got us breakfast, came back. She was like, where'd you go? I was like, oh, I just, you know, whatever. She's like, why are you up? I did laundry. Like, I had all this stuff ready. And then I just fucking went downstairs, put my Switch on my TV, and I was like, it's fucking Mario time, baby. And it was, up it was kids, amazing. It's the same thing. Like, everyone's like, what are you doing? I'm like, why are you up? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, but, I, like, I, the, I can't tell you the last time that I woke up, like, unprompted seemingly to play a fucking video game and it was i felt transported today with mario wonder i was like i feel like i am a kid again i i didn't it, it was a it was a feeling that is very rarely matched and uh it was it was a good feeling it was a good day it was a good day to play some fucking mario it might have helped that it was raining all day that i was just like you know what fucking cozy up perfect day for it yep. fucking play some mario good to go um but yeah wonder fantastic very very much looking forward to playing more Anyone else? Anything else they want to say before we wrap things up? Not to, not to drone on. Uh, one thing though, but no one's played this. So it doesn't matter. Um, I jumped into Halo uh, multiplayer. Mm-hmm. I think I texted Brendan. Uh, I feel like now's the time to jump back into that if you're interested, because I was like, "Whoa, there's so much content here now!" And I think I sent you a screenshot of like all the modes and everything, and I was like overwhelmed. And I was like, "Ooh." Yeah, I knew. So I, was, like, I knew a revamp was coming. And I didn't know it was going to be like this. Like, I, yeah, I've, I I've seen people kind of online for a little while now, like people I follow saying that like Halo multiplayer is in a great place. Like it's in a great place. People should really come back to it. And uh, I mean, I I always have Halo installed, so it might be might be time to to boot it up. Yeah, just get say some when. Just say there. when. I would love to get back to when we had those. Like, what would we have? Like, we had, like, so many people in that Discord, and we were fucking just, like, we, we, everyone was just, like, laughing, and, like, it was just constant, like, chaos. And Listen, great. that Discord's still up. I could put a I could put a quick little note in there and just be like, hey, we should do it. We should, who, we should try who's to trying to get Willie? Who's trying to get Willie? Who's trying yeah. to get silly this weekend? Because there's, like, big team ranked, I think, now. There's yeah. shit, like, this some crazy shit in there now, yeah. I just love Halo. Halo's a good time. I'll always love Halo. Oh, and it feels so good. Like, yeah. it, so that, like... Say what you want about the new Halo, but it controls just as good as it's ever. It's, it feels good. Yeah. Well, I think that brings us to the end of the show. But before we wrap things up, if it's your first time listening or you've been listening for a long time, you know that we end every episode of the show with a game. We keep track of the points all year long on the scoreboard, and we, you know, Play, play a different rotating game. Sometimes it's the same game, sometimes it's a different game. But before we do that and go over the scoreboard for the year, 
couple of quick outro things. Of course, thank you so much for listening to this week's episode, episode 390 of the Past Control Podcast. If you're a friend of the show, fan of the show, you want to help support the show, a bunch of ways to do that. But the honestly, the like the the most important thing you can do, thing that helps us out the most, aside from giving us money in some way, is by leaving us a five star review on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to the show. It's very beneficial to helping us grow the show. So if you do listen to the show, and especially specifically in audio format, if you're listening to us on a podcast app, please, please, please take a quick moment, leave us a five star review. It's super beneficial and we really appreciate it if you do. If you listen to us on podcast only, uh, a nice soft reminder that we do stream the show live every week on Twitch at twitch.tv slash pass controller. If you can't make the live show, we do put that same video up on our YouTube channel. If you're a YouTube or Twitch person and you're watching us live or watching us later on YouTube, a nice reminder that we also do the audio show. We have stuff written on our website at passthecontroller.io. Other things on our YouTube channel. We do other things on our stream. We'll probably stream Fortnite after this. Who's to say? I don't know. Not me. Not you. But we, we do a lot of different things. So if the show is all you know us for, there's more there if you want to take a step into the into the darkness with us. Um, if you have bucks kicking around, you want to support us, subscribe to us on Twitch, twitch.tv slash pass controller. Become a patron at patreon.com slash pass the controller. Get something at pass the controller dot dot com. Or, I don't know, go to Mike's OnlyFans and see pictures of his feet and cats. Is that what's on there, Mike? You know, I've lost track of the bit, so I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. Without further ado, that brings us to the game, which we are going to play Answer Unlocked. Uh, Answer Unlocked is a game where I read the description slash title of these achievements slash trophies, and whoever gets the game first gets the point. The scoreboard for the year as it stands, Dom in first with 43, Todd in second with 39. Mike has been gaining ground slowly over the last few weeks and is currently at 32. I got a couple of stumps, a couple of guest points, but we don't get guests and we don't care about stumps. Either way, let's get right into it. Game number one. For this first game, You need to give me the full title of the game. If you give me the fullest version of the title when you say it, you will get two points. But you can't like say the title and then add on. So you need to give me the full title up front if you want the double point bonus here. Blank, blank, jam. Defeat, blank, king. Blank Seeker. Collect 10 golden blanks. Time for tutorial. Collect everything in Blank Blank's house. Blank Smasher. Defeat 100 robots as blank. Blank Smasher. Defeat 100 robots as blank. Blank Smasher. Defeat 100 robots as blank blank. Life's as extreme as you want to... Todd, you're muted. I was just going to say, like, my head was going, what did we talk about this episode? I'm like, fuck, I got to connect and make it. <laughs> and I'm not listening to you at the same time. I'm listening, but... I, I honestly was spaced out thinking about something else that's not going to help me at all. <laughs> so <laughs> we're in the same boat. Life's as extreme as you want to make it. Clear all the ski slopes in blank mountain i'll just say sand mountain i don't know if that's gonna help you so i'll just say sand mountain hello blank blank find all the golden blanks in blank blank sock getter find 15 of blanks socks surfs up finish the main missions of blank lagoon I'll skip that one for now. Uptown and downtown. Complete Mrs. Blank's mission in downtown blank blank. It's not Super Mario Odyssey, right? Because there's no, no achievements for that. I, I feel not. like it's just like... It is not. Um, <clears throat> no, that's not. Never mind. It's not robots. Hit rock bottom. 
finish the main missions of blank blank. Keep it rolling. Oh, um, SpongeBob SquarePants Bikini Bottom. SpongeBob SquarePants the Battle for Bikini Bottom. <sighs> Battle for Bikini Bottom. I don't. Mm. I, don't I. I. I we need to bring it to fine. a panel here. Who gets the point? That's fine. I can have it. Okay. Well, Dom gets two, and I get whatever. Isn't it like if someone gets no? The full title of this is SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Rehydrated. So I don't. Are we no point? Are we Todd point? Are we Dom point? We, we can do no point. Well, I feel like we got it. So someone's up. getting a point. That's for shit sure. Where 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 are we? I, I'm an unbiased. Uh, I don't. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Judge what you guys here, so uh, I'm clearly cool, I'm cool with whatever uh, the gang feels appropriate uh, in this uh, scenario. I would vote towards Dom, but also I don't really care that much. New game. I'm fucking dead. All right, Todd gets his first parentheses point. Dom gets his second parentheses point. SpongeBob, <laughs> SpongeBob could be a decider in the end. We move on. Oh, I was like, why is SpongeBob even being talked about right now? <laughs> Mr. Mm, yeah, Mr. Spark. Oh, it was it was Mrs. Puff. Yes, I was, was just thinking about it was Mrs. Them. Puff. Yeah. It was it was Golden Spatulas. Rock Rock Bottom was Rock the Bottom was the yeah. Uh, you said Golden Spatulas. I thought. Sorry uh, for this yeah. one. You also need to give me the full title for credit. Mr. Sparkle, from stage one, make it to the stage three bosses in survival mode with the Japanese ROM. Easier than arm wrestling. Defeat the wrestler without any player dying. Falling for blank. Playing from stage one, fall through the deck after blank. It tastes like burning. Hurt blank with one of his own bombs. Dysfunctional family. Play in a four-player match with three other people. Bongo's angst. Playing from stage one, get Bongo to appear in four different levels. I... So... Without, I mean, I don't give a shit. It's clearly Mike. some version of Simpsons Arcade, but I just don't understand Mike what you're... Mike gets the point. It is the Simpsons Arcade. Oh, that's what it's go. called. Okay. I got, I literally, the first one. The first one, I think, I think it was Mr. Sparkle. One. Yeah, it was Mr. Sparkle. Literally. That, I was that's like, why, right, so that's why, I, I, that's like, why I almost didn't say I Sparkle. I saw you look. Like, I, you were, like, looking to see it. Like, I, 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 yeah, I didn't... Literally, yeah, you said Mr. Sparkle, and I was like, wait a second. So, it is a Simpsons game. I just it's don't Simpsons, understand well, how, I, how is it going to have I, trophies. Yeah, I, and I was also thinking just in terms of, hey, someone could just make the reference. But then he made several other Simpsons references. Yeah. I'm like, all right, it must be a Simpsons game. I did not catch a single Simpsons reference in that. Oh, yeah, there that's were a how, few. That's how, that's how out of the loop in The Simpsons I am. I haven't watched it so long. Game number three. New challenger. Defeat blank blank without losing a life. Twin dragons. Defeat the blank simultaneously. Dirty trick. Defeat an enemy by throwing an object at him while he's already down. Invulnerable. Play through a world and reach the boss without getting hit. Get the girl. Clear the game once with blank. You didn't put any stipulations about the title of this game, right? Um. Uh, hmm. The Castle Cl Crashers Remastered? Incorrect. You need to give me most of the title for this to... And I will be the, I will be the judge of if you are correct or not. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna get any further than this because I feel like it is. I feel like it's probably like Scott Pilgrim 
arcade, but I don't know what the actual name of the game is. It's like a good guess with everything. Can you guess again, Mike? Do you want to give it a real guess, please? Please I, just guess I, a real guess. Scott Pilgrim versus the world. There you I, go. It's Scott Pilgrim versus the world, the game. I will give you the point. Todd rolled his eyes. No, not a fan. No point for, no, for Mike? I'll, I'll okay. No, no, he got it right off the gate. So I, I what gave it. it to you? Was it Twin, Twin Dragons? Twin, when you said Twin Dragons, I'm like, oh, I remember what... I didn't play the game, by the way. I'm just like, I knew that she dated twins at some point, at least in the movie. And then you said, get the girl. So I said, eh, that seems like it checks enough boxes. Um, all right. We, we want a fourth game because the first one is a parentheses point or no? Are we done? Okay. We can. Which I, I, know, I, I, still, I play Spot, Scott Pilgrim regularly with the kids. And maybe because I don't get achievements, so because I already got them. Um, has anyone picked up the theme of these games? Nope. Yes. Uh, the second two games kind of have a theme, but I didn't play the first game, so I don't know if it ties into it. I what was the first, the first game? game <laughs> yeah, I do too. What was the first game? The SpongeBob one. Uh, I, I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna confirm or deny or reveal the theme yet because that is a major hint, and I don't want to do that. If that is the thing, I will pull fourth game in just a moment. I'm just looking for the right one, and it has to be 360 PS3 forward because it needs to have fucking achievements. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. and I need, I to, need to hear what this says. No, that's a bad one. That's a bad one. <laughs> uh, All right. We're going in hot with these because I don't know what the achievements look like. So, okay. You do need to give me the full title. Game number four. The Cleaner. Complete the mission, The Cleaner. Toy Story 2. Incorrect. Damn. Toy Story. Incorrect. The Battle... Toy Story 3. <laughs> Incorrect. The well, Battle why, why are you guessing? of Blank. The, the Cleaner is a song from Toy Story. Oh, okay. The Battle of Blank. Complete the mission, The Battle of Blank. The Dauntless. Complete the mission, yeah. The Dauntless. The Cleaner sounds familiar. The Observatory. Complete the mission, the Observatory. Again, you need the full title of this game. What was the second one? The Dauntless? The Battle no. of Blank. No. Okay. The Storm. Complete the mission, The Storm. I'm going to skip through the rest of these mission ones for now. We'll go back. I literally can't read that one. Um, Dark Blank. In the campaign, use the blank to shock three enemies at once. A job well done. Complete 25 multiplayer milestones. Balance point. In the campaign, eliminate five enemies at once using the barrage. Matter of deception. In the campaign, eliminate a blank blank with blank blanks melee takedown. Outcasts. Complete the mission, the outcasts. The battle of blank. Complete the mission, the battle of blank. Out stick of truth? Incorrect. Outbound flight. Win a match of blank assault. There has been an awakening. Reach rank 25. Uh, uh, Battlefield 2. Battlefront 2. It is indeed Battlefront 2. Is that the newer one? Or is that... That's the, two is that's the, the last one, one yeah. <clears throat> Wait, there um, wasn't a sequel to the older ones? Was this... I think the oh, old ones are the old ones are also Battlefront and Battlefront 2, and then they redid them. No, they did Battlefront. Oh, they did. I don't think they ever did a Battlefront 2. Oh. Did they? I think they did. Star Wars Battlefront. 
Um, one has the stormtrooper on the cover. That's the old like, one. Prom's on the cover. Yeah, yeah it's definitely old. Do they do a Battlefront two? I don't. I don't. On know. like an old Battlefront two. Um, this is gonna be too hard to look up on the fly. Uh, yeah. because they're it's fucking kind of the funny. way they're named. Uh, they did they did two thousand four Battlefront, two thousand five Battlefront two. Uh, to, Battlefront three was in development and canceled. Okay. Then there was Battlefront Online. Then there was. Oh yes. Okay. Okay. The prequels was Battlefront two. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and there was Battlefront twenty fifteen, and then Battlefront yeah. two twenty seventeen. That'll do it for this week's episode, episode three ninety. Uh, the scoreboard for the week ends with Dom at forty four, Todd at thirty nine, Mike at thirty four. That'll do it. We appreciate you. We will see you next time.